What is the best mic for streaming or recording for under 50 bucks on Amazon? Well, I tested them all so you don't have to. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And for a hardware tech channel, it's been a minute since we actually reviewed some hardware. So today I have a lineup of five microphones under $50 on Amazon that you can buy today if you're looking for something that's a plug and play option if you're going to be streaming or recording on something like Twitch. Now here's the thing, there are all kinds of different options in the price points we're gonna go over today. Even some where you essentially you get like an arm um, for your mic and it's still a plug and play option. But the reason I picked these five specifically is A, they don't take up a whole lot of real estate on your desk, which for a lot of people that's very important. B, they're all plug and play options, meaning that it doesn't require any fine tuning for them to work out of the box. And B, they're all within a reasonable price range for a lot of people who may be just getting into streaming or recording and just need something that gets the job done and they don't have a lot of money to do so. So the first microphone we're gonna take a look at today is the Suhuna condenser mic. Now, this is the lowest one in the SKU, coming in at about $13.99. Um, it was kind of, it was actually pretty hard, strangely, to find something around 10 bucks that I liked. But for this microphone, um, it is the only one that is not USB enabled. It does have a splitter for a microphone and headphone jack, which is a little kind of ancient, I would say it now, um, <laughs> for, you know, microphone technology, but still something that some people do use. Um, now, this was by far the worst mic in terms of pickup. I used the test this OBS because it is by far the most common streaming software that is used today. And so on this one, the microphone was set to negative uh, 13.9, I believe, for the decibels in terms of just being able to pick up the mic without picking up any of the sound around it. So here's a listen to what it sounds like. This is a test of the Sunhua Omnidirectional Condenser Mic. So yeah, not the greatest in terms of overall sound quality, and it was, I mean, just the pickup. All of these mics were placed within about uh, a foot away from me, um, right in front of my keyboard, which I think is a reasonable place that most people would have the microphone situated, so it's not in the way of them typing or playing games or whatever. And so this mic definitely um, requires a lot more gain if you want it to pick you up, but that means that you're gonna deal with more static, more background noise, things like that. And so this is just kind of like the mic that you buy if you just need something. Now the next mic is a little more interesting. This is from, I don't know how to say this if I slaughter it, Fafine, I'm gonna call it Fafine from here on out. So this is the Fafine condenser microphone uh, coming in around about $21.99. Now there's nothing particularly special about this microphone. Um, it's basically just kind of a traditional looking mic. Uh, however, the sound quality is quite a big jump up from the Sunhua that we had before, and now this is a USB plug and play, so here's a sound quality check for you guys just to see what it sounds like. This is a test of the Fafine plug and play condenser mic. So, a significantly better increase in terms of overall sound quality, still not the best, but something that you could definitely get by with if you were starting out for streaming or recording uh, where it's not you know, gonna grate on people's ears. Now the third uh, microphone is we're gonna start to see some extra features that are built in. So this one is the Fafine Metal Condenser Microphone. This thing is super solid, it's a little bit heavier but it feels like it has pretty great construction. What makes this mic a little bit unique is that it has a volume dial on the right hand side. This um, basically actively allows you to change the volume of how you're speaking without going into software, something I very much appreciated. The sound quality again was a step up from the previous um, Fafine condenser mic and so here's that sound quality check for you guys. This is a mic test of the Fafine metal condenser microphone. So now we're in the about $30 range on this mic. Uh, this is definitely where you're gonna be spending a little bit of money, but the quality definitely shows. This is a good all around mic, and it was actually uh, my favorite in the SKU until I tried the next mic, which is the Amazon Basics Desktop Mini Condenser Mic. Now this one actually has a mute feature, something I think is actually, they need to implement on more mics, just having it on the edge of it. So, um, you know, if you're like me and you have a kid or kids running in the room, you can immediately mute it to kind of get rid of that background sound if you have to talk to someone or have a private conversation uh, without having to go into your system, which I found very, very um, convenient. The quality on this mic, again, is a step up because the condenser on the microphone is a little bit better than that fine metal one, so you get a uh, clearer picture, uh, clearer sound, I should say, without as much of this uh, background noise in it. So here's a sound test for you guys to hear what I'm talking about. This is a mic test of the Amazon Basic Desktop Mini Microphone. So, of all the mics we've tried thus far, this is definitely the one I was leaning towards. It was kind of a toss up between it and the metal due to cost. This one came in at $42.99. However, 
as of the, uh, today, they're going on sale for almost the same exact cost as the Fafine Metal. So if you were picking between these two, I would definitely lean more towards the Amazon Basic due to it having a slightly better sound quality and a much better condenser um, to get rid of extra noise. Now, the last one in the SKU is the Old and Faithful uh, Blue Snowball Mic. I've had this thing for years. It's still a great mic. It's gone down significantly in cost, coming in around, around $49. And in terms of all sound, uh, sound quality and also with the way the condenser works, it is still the best mic in this lineup. Here's a sound test for you guys to hear. This is a mic test of the Blue Snowball Condenser Microphone. So if you were gonna be spending money um, out of these two, I would have leaned more towards the Blue Snowball for eight more dollars. However, uh, well not eight more, well yeah, eight more dollars with the original price. But now that everything, this one's on sale, this is the one of the SKU that I would lean towards the most. If you can't uh, spring for the $30 range, I would skip the Sunhua outright. I don't think it's a great mic. It's just something, again, to get the job done and at least spend 20 ish dollars on this one from Fafine for a condenser mic that's actually gonna get the job done the way you need it to. Now, in terms of all overall sound quality, I wanted to play kind of clips by the side by side so you can hear the transition in terms of what uh, quality of mic you're getting if you're going up in cost. So here's that for you guys. Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. 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 So guys, you can see that in when you're buying these mics, price what was nice actually made a difference. Uh, one of the things I was worried about is like, oh, you're gonna spend extra money and you're not gonna get anything for it. But there is a progressive sound quality increase for every eight to ten dollars you spend in terms of buying a mic and so this is something to consider if you're going to be investing in one of these things if you don't have a lot of money if you can squeeze thirty to forty dollars one of these two right now i'd go with the amazon basic because it's on sale if this one goes back up in cost definitely the metal all day long out of the five that we have here on the higher end this guy right here now the reason that i picked fifty dollars or less is because at sixty dollars you get access to xlr setups very basic ones but this is where you're going to be using things like a preamp and an arm and a you know a regular xlr microphone in order to essentially do your setup just like i have back here so as a bonus i'm going to show you what i have right now this is a again around a sixty dollar setup all the parts are going to be linked but listen to the sound quality in this as we close out this review video so you get a better idea if you want to take one more step on what kind of sound quality you're going to be getting all right guys, so this is the budget XLR setup that I have going right, right now. The mic is about a foot away from my face. Uh, decibel wise, we're about 11, minus 11 on the gain. And so this gives you an idea of what the sound quality would be like if you wanted to invest in like a budget XLR setup. Now, the reason I uh, say to kind of consider that after the $50 mark is because there are options like this. And really at that point, you might be able to start playing around with getting, uh, you know, better mics, better preamps, things like that. But this gives you a general idea of what the sound is gonna sound like. Uh, just, you know, in terms of like the overall quality. And as you notice, as we go up in mic quality, you're picking up more of the room. You may be hearing a little bit more echo right now, a little bit more reverberation off the wall. And uh, that's something that honestly, you're gonna have to deal with either by using pop filters, dampening the sound by putting things on the wall, um, using specific settings for your programming or the preamp in order to mitigate some of that echo that's gonna happen. Because now that we're at a higher quality mic, it's picking up more of the sound that's in the room. So that's one of the trade-offs. Obviously, normally when you're streaming, a lot of streamers have the mic like right in front of their face to kind of mitigate that. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go on ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, go on and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop. As always, thanks to everyone who's a Twitch subscriber, my patrons. Uh, the October wallpaper is out for my patrons. Thank you so much, guys. Consider joining our Discord of PC enthusiasts and gamers, which is all linked down below. Also, any of the mics and things I reviewed today are gonna be linked with my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video. If you wanna support the channel, you can buy any of those products if obviously one of them stood out to you. That money goes back in the channel. I'm completely self-funded. I am gonna be running a new giveaway. Um, I'm gonna be announcing that on Amazon because I wanna kinda do a vote for what you guys want next. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc. <laughs> uh, and then I can't build. Obviously, good mics don't make good players. So there you go.